As the name implies, an ignition distributor distributes the sparks from the coil that ignite the air fuel mixture in the cylinders. It feeds each cylinder at the correct time. The correct time is the challenge because the timing has to be changed, advanced and retarded under specific conditions. In order to understand how the advanced system works in an ignition distributor, we need to understand a basic principle. To illustrate, imagine a quarterback in a football game has just received the ball from the center. The quarterback's goal is to pass the ball to a receiver who's already running down the field. The quarterback does not wait for the receiver to get to his position before throwing the ball. The quarterback throws the ball immediately, aiming not at the receiver, but at the point where the receiver will be in a few moments. Your ignition distributor works similarly. It does not wait and send the spark to the cylinder when the piston is in its firing position. Remember the quarterback knows that after he throws the ball, it will need a few moments to travel down the field and the receiver will be running that whole time. To compensate, the quarterback throws the ball in advance of the receiver. The ignition distributor is set up to compensate for the fact that the piston will be moving and the spark will need time or a moment to travel to the cylinder and then ignite the air fuel mix. To adjust for that, the distributor dispatches the spark in advance of when the piston will be in its firing position. Now, what will that quarterback do when he knows that this particular receiver runs faster than the previous receiver? The answer is easy. He throws the ball so that it's even more advanced. The ball will get there a little earlier, which will be perfect for this man who's running faster. The ignition distributor does the same thing. As the engine spins faster and faster, the ignition distributor sends the spark earlier and earlier or more advanced so that it will meet the piston at just the right time at its firing position. In most passenger cars, we have two forms of advance in the distributor. One is a vacuum advance, one is a mechanical advance. In the next video, we're going to investigate both of those.